Today, we're going to be looking at a classic problem that is the sum of a number's digits. If that happens to be divisible by 3, then the original number is divisible by 3. And we're going to show that this is an if and only if, meaning that if the number is divisible by 3, the sum of its digits is divisible by 3, and the other direction, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the original number is divisible by 3. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to do the first direction, and we're going to suppose that a number is divisible by 3, and using that assumption, we're going to show that the sum of the digits is also divisible by 3. So how we're going to do that is we're going to let n be a number that is divisible by 3. That means that there exists a number k such that n equals 3k and k is an integer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let n be equal to am am minus 1, am minus 2, all the way down to a naught. And these ams are just going to represent each digit in our number. So for example, if we had something like 123, am is 1, am minus 1 is 2, a naught is 3. And how we can do this is we can represent these mathematically as the 1 in the 123 is 100, the 2 is a 20, the 3 is this 3. So that means that we can write numbers as the sum of these individual am, am minus 1, all the way through a naught. So for example, 123 is 100 plus 20 plus 3. 51 is 50 plus 1. And 15 is 10 plus 5. So now we can write this as am times 10 to the m plus am minus 1 times 10 to the m minus 1 plus all the way down to a naught times 10 to the 0 or just 1. Now we know that our n is divisible by 3 so what we're going to do is we're going to divide everything here by 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look, look at 10 to the m over 3. And 10 to the m, or 10 to the n, is 1 with n zeros behind it, which we can then write as 9 n nines plus one and those n nines are going to happen to be divisible by three so then we can divide 10 to the n by three it's going to be k plus one third because the three is going to go into the n nines so now we can divide our original number by the 3, and we can put the 3 into each one of the 10 to the m's. So we're going to get am times an integer plus a third, plus am minus 1 times an integer plus a third, plus, and we're just going to get this pattern all the way down to a naught times a third. Now we can foil in all our AMs. So we're going to get AM times KM plus AM over 3 plus AM minus 1 times KM minus 1 plus AM minus 1 over 3 plus, and then we're going to just keep this pattern all the way down to A naught times K naught plus a naught over 3. Now all the am kms are an integer times an integer, so we can group all of those together. 
and then after we group all of the am times kms together, we can group all the am over threes together, and this is going to equal an integer k. So now all our am times kms are an integer, so we can just replace this with some substitution variable, an n or an r or something like that. And then we can factor out a 3 for all the ams over 3. So we're going to get am is am minus 1 plus all the way down to a naught all over 3. And this is going to equal k. Then we subtract over our m from both sides, so we're going to get am plus am minus 1 plus all the way down to a naught over 3 equals k minus m. Then we multiply through by 3, so we get am plus am minus 1 plus a naught equals 3 times k minus m. k and m are both integers, so what this implies is that a m plus a m minus 1 plus all the way down to a naught is divisible by 3. So that means that if our original number was divisible by 3, then the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So we're halfway done. On the next half, we'll show that if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, and the original number is divisible by 3 using a very similar argument.